Hi Firsties, it's Miss Lee down in the corner here, and today we're going to review open and closed syllables like we did on Monday. So if you remember, an open syllable is a syllable or word part that ends in a vowel, and a closed syllable is a syllable or word part that ends in a consonant. So we've got some words over here that we're going to look at, and we're going to divide them into their syllables and then decide are they open or are they closed. So my first word right here is robot. Let's clap robot. Are you ready? Robot. Robot. Good. So if I take my pen and I divide robot into row and bot, I can look at this first syllable and I can see that it ends in an O, which is a vowel. So if it ends in a vowel, is it open or closed? It's open. Good. So I am going to take robot and I am going to move it to the open side. Great job. Okay. Okay, let's try napkin next. Napkin. Let's clap. Ready? Napkin. Okay, so I know that it has two syllables and I hear napkin. So if I divide that word in half, I have nap on one side and kin on the other. And if I look at the end of the syllable, I see napkin ends in p, which is a um, consonant. So if it ends in a consonant, it is closed. So napkin is going to go over here. Okay, let's do tiny next. Okay, you guys clap tiny for me. Tiny. Who thinks they know if it's open or closed? Okay, tie knee. Tie knee. That I is at the end of the first word part or the first syllable. I is a vowel, so if it is a vowel, it is open. So I am going to put tiny in the open side. Okay, let's move on to basket. Alright, let's clap basket. Ready? Basket. Where do you guys think I'm going to draw my line between the word parts? If you guessed right here, you are correct. So we have bas kit and that S is a consonant right there at the end of the first word part, so I know that if it ends in a consonant, it is a closed syllable. We have two more. Let's look at favor. And I'm actually going to put, put them both up at the top because we have one open and one closed left, and I want to see if you can decide which one of these words is open and which one of these words is closed. So we have favor. Favor, and we have number. Number. If you want, you can just pause this video and see if you can decide which one is open and which one is closed. Okay, so if you decided that favor is open, you would be correct because if we clap favor, favor, that last sound that I hear at the end of the first syllable or first word part is fe, which is that A sound, which means it ends in a vowel, that first word part, which makes it an open syllable word. Number, if I come over here, if I clap number, number, that first word part ends with the M. So I draw my line right in the middle of number number and m is a consonant so remember if it ends in a Ooh, let's try it see if i can make my handwriting better if it ends in a vowel it is open and if it ends in a consonant it is closed and oopsie daisy, but Miss Lee has to get her eraser out because I made a mistake. There we go. Consonant. Okay, 
vowel open, consonant closed. Simple, right? Okay, so now I'm going to go to your seesaw activity for today. And when you get to the activity, it's going to look like this. And I did the first one for you. All of these are closed. If they're closed, that means the first word part or first sil syllable ends in a consonant. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at the word and you're going to divide it into its two word parts. You can use the pencil or whatever you want. I'm going to use the pencil. I'm going to use red and I'm going to go to my word. This says member. I'm going to clap it out. Member. And I'm going to draw my line in between the two syllables. Member. Okay, you're going to do that for all the words. You're going to use the label tool over here to write the syllables out. So for member, I have mem. There we go. I can make that smaller. And I have fur. So I made labels for the two word parts. So I have mim, burr. And if I put them together, I make this word over here. That's what you're going to do for your syllable activity today, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day, and thanks for hanging out.